available on the Korean Peninsula, Japan, and Okinawa, and on the water. Uh, but with this system, it, it, it now puts Guam in the same level as North America in terms of the land-based systems. Uh, the message I really have here is uh, the Obama administration and the Defense Department have been there uh, to look out for the needs and the security issues of Guam. Uh, we're hopeful that this message can be sent to Senator McCain. If you all recall, this system, this land-based system, uh, was incorporated in the original plan for the realignment of military forces in Guam. But unfortunately, because of obstacles such as Senator McCain, there has been this delay. And now it has been put in an emergency, emergent situation as a result of these threats made by North Korea. Uh, this wasn't budgeted. Uh, this is this is something that now is being done as a result uh, of a situation that is occurring in the North Korean Peninsula. This shows the important significance of Guam and Marianas in terms of America's strategic interests. But also, it's about 200,000 Americans living in Guam and the Northern Marianas getting just as much protection as any other American. And what we're hopeful for, and I will be sending a message to the Senate uh, within the next couple of days, uh, pointing this fact out to Senator McCain and others that have been obstacles uh, towards realignment and also spending in Guam. Uh, I'm thankful again to the Obama administration. Uh, administration. I'm thankful to the Bush administration that, that where this initiative moved forward. And I'm thankful to the House uh, because they have showed this support. It has been the Senate from day one that has been an obstacle uh, towards getting, uh, again, investments into our island and particular to this defense system that is now being put in place. Okay? So basically you were actively part of the conversation with I have been in discussions with the Defense Department, with Homeland Security, and they have been briefing me on uh, all the security measures that are available for Guam, territories, uh, uh, U.S. territories in the Pacific, uh, uh, as well as uh, the capabilities of North Korea. Um, you, you assured us um, in a prior report that we were adequately, adequately protected. Mm -hmm. To hear that we're only sending a <coughs> missile defense system now, one can only ask, are we really protected with, without with the system? Obviously, uh, we have concerns in regards to these threats made uh, by the North Korean government. It has been coming more hard, more and more harsh. Uh, we have also been protected through other systems that are not land-based in nature in Guam. Uh, these are systems that are land-based in the Korean Peninsula, uh, in Japan, in Okinawa, and those systems that are in the water as well. So there has been a blanket over Guam. Uh, this is one more system that is a system that we feel is important and we feel that it's important to be permanently based, as was originally planned with this realignment of forces in, 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 in Guam. Lastly, were you given any specific date when the system will arrive if it's not here already? At this point, that, that's all I'm ready to uh, 